guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I've got a question for you. Do you constantly lose your lens caps? Do you just take them off and put them in random spots? Well today I have two DIY easy simple solutions for you um, and it doesn't hang from your lens so it doesn't make that clanking sound and yeah I'm going to show you how to make two lens cap holders that will actually go onto the strap around your neck. So let's get into it. Okay, so for these, you're gonna need ribbon, a lid, your pad, a piece of material, hot glue gun, some thread, and some needle, and also, obviously, hot glue. Okay, guys, so let's start out with the material one because I feel like it's gonna be a quicker process. So, I've got my piece of material here. So, my piece of material is this big. It's actually a cleaning cloth. My dog chewed the corner of it, so that's why I figured I'd use this one because I got plenty of them. So, we're gonna fold that in. And we're gonna fold this side in as well. We're gonna take this, we're gonna sort of measure it in the middle. So I feel like that's a good little pouch. It leaves me a little bit of room to sew because I'm not a very good sewer. This is only gonna be sort of a quick sorter if you need something pretty fast. Fold this in thirds that way. So you wanna make sure it covers your lens cap. And then that's kinda of gonna be like the flap for it so it doesn't fall out while you're using it. We're gonna sew these two sides together. Now, I'm no sewer so Please don't judge me for my abilities. Let's do it. Five hours later. One side done. Okay, so now we have this. So we have a little pouch, it's closed. Slot that in there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on getting this to sort of shut. So I've got this ribbon here, which I'll also be using for the next project. Let's go ahead and let's sew this in. So what we've done here, we have sewed the ribbon to the front. Um, this is currently inside, but we're gonna take that out for the minute. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut a hole just about there. There is like a little tiny hole there. We're gonna thread both of these through the hole. So it's open. We'll grab our lens cap. Put it in. No, you tie not. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to actually put some of this ribbon on the back so that we can loop it to my Nikon cord. So I'll show you what I mean. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to put the, uh, the pouch on the same side as the logo so this sits on the outside of your neck then and the ribbon can go on this side. So we're just gonna do one more thing with this one here. So we're gonna measure this against there. So you only want about that much, so maybe a finger either side, just to allow for sewing purposes. Okay, so let's sew one side first, and then we'll sew the other side over the top of the strap. For friggin' hell, that was like, I'm not a sewer. I told you, I'm not that person. We're not gonna sew it onto the strap, we're just gonna loop it over like that and we're gonna sew it onto the other side of the bag. Okay, so this is the final invention here. So now we're gonna test it out. So we've got my lens cap here. We open up this one here. Slot the little one in. And then, so you're using it for a couple of hours, that's fine. No worries, mate, because you've just created yourself a little baggie. And this way also, you don't have it like hanging in front of your camera. You know how some people put the string here? And then like ding, 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 ding. You don't want that if you're filming. If you're doing photos, you can sort of like hold it back. But if you're filming, it's a little more difficult. Now for this one, you want hot glue, scissors, ribbon, and the lid. Okay, so now while this is heating up, we want to test this for size. In order to fit it in there, we kind of, I kind of have to squish the things in, and then it sort of clips under, but it doesn't come out all the way. So I'm gonna make these just a little wider, just with a bit of root strength. Okay, so that's a much better fit. You got cans everywhere. Steal a lid, put glad wrap over the top, mum won't even notice. Okay, so now, here comes the easy part. All we're gonna do with this one, flip it over, cut a small length of ribbon. So first, we're gonna hot glue it to one side. Don't burn yourself, like I always do. Give that a few seconds to cool down. Pop your strap in there, and then we're just going to hot glue the other side. So then it's stuck on to that area. Now you obviously wanna make sure you don't hot glue your friggin' strap. And then we're just gonna leave that for a few minutes to cool down. But see, that just that's just gonna slide nicely once it's all cool. Trim off any danglies you have. And then there's just one more thing I wanna do just to ensure it stays in. So we're gonna measure from this side of the tin all the way around back around to here. Cause what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue this down so that when we put it in, you can wrap this around the front of it and tie it in a little knot. Just 
makes you feel a little safer about it all. And now I'm just gonna leave that to dry for a few minutes and then I'll show you the end result of what it looks like. Okay, so now here's the final result for the second one. So I can see, I still got the first one on there. I just pushed it down for now. Okay, so it's literally just a lid. You can paint it whatever color you like. I know it's a little ugly, but you know, whatever. It's gonna save me losing this every other day. And then you just clip it in there. So all done is squeeze those together, clip it in. And then for my extra security, this is just for me. I haven't trimmed this string down yet. Okay, so all we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in there. We're going to tie the ribbon round. You can even go a second time if you've got way too much ribbon like me. Tied it up, done, that's it, done. Thanks for watching my video guys. Uh, let me know which one you liked more. Personally, I like the lid more. I've been using it for a couple weeks now and it works really well because I just, I just pulled the cover off and then I just place it straight in the holder here. And it's worked really well. I did a full day shoot in the city and yeah, it's just working really well for me. And you know what? I haven't lost it once since I made it. So, which is a big statement for me because I always lose it like down the back of the couch. I, I just put it in random spots. I just put it on the couch as I'm walking past and yeah, and then, and then it's gone. Then I spend the next two days frantically looking for it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next week, either for Lifestyle Tuesdays or for Tech Thursdays. Bye. Yo, my name is Oprah and this is my spot. Take a seat and don't worry, cause that ain't a big shot. I was thinking we could make a little tribe, but that only works if y'all subscribe.